Hi, I'm Fate Touched, and this is me playing games. And we are back to Haunted Hotel Death Sentence, and she is Art Punk. We played the demo of this one, and now I bought it. And we're going to continue on in this one. We are once again doing stuff with James, our, uh, I don't know, friend, mentor, something or other. Except this time, he might be dead. I kind of doubt it, though. I kind of figure we're going to find him at the end alive. So far, we have seen a lot of dead people, though, so who knows, right? So let's get to going. Continue. I completely forgot what- oh, that is really cool. I completely forgot what we were doing, though. Themis, the goddess of justice, who is usually portrayed blind. Oh, and there's the dead dude, speaking of. Case 4985, Detective James B. Case closed for lack of evidence. Oh, James was on this case. Maybe the bad guy is targeting him because he didn't do a good job of putting the people behind bars. Or I don't know, something like that. This detective deserves his sentence for blank. He done many years ago. Maybe he's evil, which is kind of what I always thought. So this judge is dead. Is that all I needed here? Hmm, okay. Real quick, so going back to the plot here, some anonymous person invited a whole bunch of criminals to their hotel or criminals that never got caught. And now they're all dead. But again, this is a hotel. Why did the judge bring his gavel? Why did he bring all this paperwork? Why? It's not his house. What? Oh, I forgot we were doing this. Ezreal Blackthorn, a retired judge known for his harsh sentences. He died a natural death, but his spirit lives on supernaturally. He died a natural death. I thought he was murdered. Was that the point? No, the judge did not own the hotel. We actually don't know who owns the hotel. We haven't figured that out yet. Herbicide. I've always liked plants. They're honest creatures. Unlike people. Okay. <laughs> Ot Punk has a love-hate relationship with plants. And why is there a giant statue of justice in this hotel room that the judge is staying in? This game doesn't make any sense. I also have no idea where we are or what we were doing. Okay, current task is here. Really? Why is there... What is there to do here? Oh, I missed this. <laughs> are you going to read it for me this time? No? I've spent my entire life administering justice, but some evil souls slipped through the cracks. I swear by God or by devil that I will see them meet their end. E.B. What does this say? Isaac Rottenberg, Tony Norton, Gordon something or other, and James. A narrow keyhole. I could try to break it. Isaac Rottenberg, yeah. Isaac Rottenberg, Tony Norton, somebody, and James. There's a key. So wait. Now I'm confused. I was certain Ezreal Blackthorn was the killer, but he's been dead for years. Then who killed Isaac and Tony? Uh, probably him. And he probably faked his death. I would guess. Uh, yeah. Huh. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm gonna guess that the judge is the killer and that he's not really dead. That'd be my guess. Oh, I forgot about that. Wait, now what am I supposed to be doing in here? Oh, wait, what? Is there another door in here? Oh, okay. Plant killer. Mm. 
No, it's dirty. That's an interesting notebook. Gordon Marshall. That cowardly worm thought he could sleep with my wife behind my back. Let's see how he handles dropping into an enemy ambush. Ugh. She claims there was no affair between them. But what good is that now? He's dead. And good riddance. One of the sergeant's friends ratted me out to the military police. But no one could tarnish my spotless career. After all, I have friends in high places. This Blackthorn fellow invited me to his Holy Mountain Hotel to purchase some of his antique weaponry. They look authentic, and the price is a steal. I can't pass this up. Okay, Blackthorn did own the hotel. Fine. So he's actually the bad guy and not dead, is what I assume. Are we done in here? Oh, good job, me. What did that prove? I just breaking stuff? Huh. Okay. Alright, so we have a metal, a blade, a sweet key. Oh, we still have the herbicide, an arrow, James's hat, and James's ring. And here's one of the dead dudes. This was the doctor. Still warm. James, are you here? No. Oh, what's this? Something sharp. Right. That looks like ice, not tape. All right, let's see. Fork, corn, handle, ketchup, three cookies, bananas, radish, or three radishes. Okay, well, there's the bananas. Fork, corn, is that the handle? Ooh, a knife. Postcard, the Holy Mountain. Gordon Marshall, I'm looking to sell some of my rarest antique weapons. Please come to the Holy Mountain Hotel, EB. Why is that postcard in the refrigerator? Eat strawberry. It's time to break the ice. Not with that. Okay. That's a good idea. You probably hurt yourself. Well, I mean, you need to eat dinner. Tuning forks don't really work like that, guys. Ooh, a cookie. That's an oatmeal cookie pie. I love those. There's a radish, and another radish, and another radish. Ooh, and a swirly refrigerator cookie. And a chocolate chip cookie. And we need corn. And a handle. Ketchup. Juice. And let's see, we need carrot, sausage, and a sandwich. Oh, I bet this is to cut a sausage. Those are not cooked sausages. You should not eat them. Alright, now we need a carrot. There we go. And a sandwich. It's right there. I could use a sandwich right now. Oh, do I have to make the sandwich? Uh, what else goes on this sandwich? You don't put garnish on a sandwich. That's silly business. Also, I wouldn't eat anything in that refrigerator. It looks very moldy. I know the dishwasher's still going. Soon. You wouldn't want to eat any of that food. It was moldy. Moldy food is not good eats. Alright, now we go back to the garage. Oh. Okay, sure. What is that? A flashlight? A seat lever. The old car heater is broken. Okay, is that important? That's silly. This will help you find something useful. James, why didn't you use that? Why didn't you call the police? It is a fake car. I forgot. You are correct. Hmm. What does the heater being broken have to do with anything? Okay. Oh no, it's a person! Wait. Someone started sawing this. If I had the right tool, I could finish the job. Okay, I do not have anything to saw with yet. 
Oh, I'm still supposed to be here, huh? Ah! James just hid a saw somewhere and left the handle for me. Why didn't he just leave me the saw? Why is he leaving me random notes around? Also, how did I do that from the window? Branch. Am I making another slingshot, maybe? Yep. Tony was a heavy caffeine drinker that couldn't have been good for his nerves. Yeah. I don't think dying was good for his nerves, either. Okay. Oh yeah, there's something creepy in the bushes. We're done over there. I think we're done outside. Oh, we haven't had any- there's tapes in this one too, I forgot about that. Okay. The only thing I have a plus item on is this. Is there a door somewhere? There's no door in here. That door's open. This is just a porch. Okay, I'm confused. Where am I supposed to go? Search this location. Oh, I was able to climb out the window because the branch wasn't there. Okay, that makes sense. And it didn't have it on the map because I hadn't been there yet. Oops, the ball bearings broke. I have to find a new lens. Okay. Nice view, but I don't have time to appreciate it. Okay. What's this? I, if I can't find a key, I could always try to pick it. <gasps> like with that paper clip I just had that I don't have anymore for some reason. This keyhole is blocked by a tight rubber band. I have a razor. It's locked. I guess that's not for that one. Wow, that sounds like a terrible idea. Um, I guess it depends on what the the ball bearing wheel would be for. Like, if it wasn't super heavy, I guess it could work. It'd be very expensive if it didn't work. If I could just knock the ladder free, it could drop down to me. Oh, I'm making a slingshot, right. I don't know where we got that piece, but sure. Wait, what? Oh. Boy, you shoot a ball bearing at someone, you're gonna do damage. Oh boy, a mini game. What do I push? Uh, stop the elevator. You must grow. Okay, I guess I just stop. Oops. <laughs> I guess I just click anywhere. <laughs> Ah! Oh, no, I don't click anywhere. Nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move. Thank you. Um, oh, I guess now I'm going up here? What is that? A chrome slider. Oh, is that for the heater in the car, maybe? It's a key card reader. All right, I guess I need a key card reader. Let's go see if that is for the heater. Yep, it is. That's not part of the heater. Marshall's reel. It really is. I I think it's I actually don't know. I'm not even gonna pretend to know. Let's watch a video or film strip rather. Gordon Marshall, a jealous general who sacrificed his honor for his pride when he discovered one of his men having an affair with his wife. Gordon sent him into certain death. He was court-martialed for the soldier's death. But thanks to his powerful friends, he was cleared of any suspicion and retired with full honors. But your friends can't help you here, Gordon. 
I sentence you to suicide with the weapon you value so much. Wow. Okay. News from abroad. Local soldier dies in enemy ambush. Shocking outcome. General cleared of all charges. So it's just gonna tell me the same thing again. Ezreal Blackthorn believed he was guilty. I need to find out more information. The Holy Mountain Hotel Luxury Suite. Welcome. Okay. It's a very weird way to... Uh-oh. It's a mean dude. Who's gonna go get him? That's not how keycard readers work. What on earth? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I gotta write this one down. When we have to do letters and numbers at the same time, my poor little brain gets angry. All right, so welcome. And there's seven letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the first one is E. The next one is three or six, rather. The next one is... Okay, now let's try it again. Okay, the E at the end is first. Next comes the O, then the M, then the C, then the E, then the L, then the W. Right, okay. So we go E O M C E L W. Yes. No way I was going to do that without a piece of paper. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what year this is. Oh, and it still needs a key. That's ridiculous. Wow. These guys have been dead for an extremely long time. That's all we're not gonna like comment on him being dead, huh? Gordon Marshall, a retired army general, a tough man who collects antique weapons and expensive brands of whiskey. Good to be the king. This must be Ezreal's antique weapons collection. Two guns are missing though. Well, there's one here. There must be a way through this door. Try taking that cloth down. What will fit in this thin slot? Oh, what's in here? I forgot to look in here. Oh. Gordon Marshall, 458-102490, AB plus, atheist. Also jerk, apparently. The Deluxe Suite. Guests staying in our deluxe suite are invited for complimentary tea every evening on the terrace. Okay. I need a crest. Oh, I forgot I was looking for items too. Well, that gave me the key to the greenhouse, I guess. Unless this is supposed to be the terrace. Oh, maybe. It is a very pretty room, actually. Uncover the pairs, six of them. Ah, uh, we're gonna play this puzzle. All right. What is that? Oh, that's a shovel. Postcard, Veronica Redmond. The Holy Mountain Hotel would like to interview you for a housekeeping position. Okay. It's a kitty! Oh, there's a shovel. And there's a gnome. Gnome. And a flamingo. Interesting. Oh, there's another kitty. One kitty, two kitties. Oh, the kitty went away. 
Uh, flamingos. It's an interesting thing to have two of. Yeah, like everyone died super long ago. Like they're skeletons. Like it's not even like, oh, it's been a couple of weeks or what am I missing? I need to find another thing to move. It's it's been it's been years. Okay. Dear Mr. Blackthorn, thank you for the opportunity to work as the head maid at your hotel. Please accept this priceless heirloom as a token of my gratitude. Really? It's not that big a deal. And you broke it. Good job. We just bent a priceless heirloom into a lockpick. Yeah, this looks pretty modern. Like, this is not an old... I must have entered the employees only section of the hotel. I just can't walk through this door. That's because there's a giant washing machine in front of it. There should be a part connecting these together. It's missing a wire. What's this? Laundry service. One dollar fifteen cents per item. Wash. Two dollars per load. Dry. Fifty cents per item. If this is a time-traveling hotel, that would be amazing, but I kind of highly doubt that. The first one in this series was a time-traveling hotel. Isaac R, Casey O, C, James B, Lilith B, Tony N. I'm guessing all of these are locked. All right. I scavenged some gunpowder powder from Ezreal's armory. Use it wisely. Kaboom. Why, why? Why is he leaving me these notes? He has gone off the deep end. Okay. I need the rest of the code. Holy Mountain Hotel Visitor Guest Book. May 13th, 1966! We're in the 60s! Hooray! My room is adequate for my needs, but I've yet to meet the manager during my stay. P.S. Your complimentary wine selection is outstanding. Isaac Rottenberg. May 13th, 1966. My room is adequate for my needs, but I've yet to meet the manager during my stay. P.S. Your complimentary wine selection is outstanding. Isaac Rottenberg James? Why did James, I assume, transcribe this here? October 13th, 1967. This is General Gordon Marshall. I must admit your deluxe suite has surpassed my expectations, and so has your antique weapon collection. However, you might want to restock your fridge. And then it says James, and it's torn out. All the victims left comments, but someone tore off James's page. Also, James copied someone's, I think. Maybe it's not James leaving us the notes. <gasps> a ghost just knocked the flower pot over. Where's a good weed killer when you need it? I mean, you don't really need a weed killer doesn't disintegrate plants. It does seem like a plot twist too complex for a hog. There are two small slots in the chest. Ezreal says he's too busy for children. If it weren't for those criminals, we could be happier. Okay. It's a family scrapbook. Did his wife work at the hotel? Glasses. Oh, I guess that's for the telescope. I don't think that's how telescopes work, but... Wait, I'm not going to use the telescope? Hinge joint. This game is very weird. Do I need a hinge joint? Is that what this is for? Okay, now I just need another wire, I guess. I have a wire. Where did I get a wire? 
What is this nonsense? All right. Adjust all of the sliders so they line up with their matching colored light. Move one slider may affect other sliders. Okay, that's what I thought it was. Oh. <laughs> that is a dumb waiter. Or a laundry chute. Laundry chutes don't usually have doors like that. Okay. Earrings. I always feel a little awkward searching through their personal things, but it's the only way to solve this. Have you seen my earrings? They're silver with green gems. Yeah, they're right here. Okay. I have a feeling something is hidden inside this as well. Huh, if only I had a uh, straight razor. Washing machine settings. Okay. It's not plugged in. This is a really crappy laundry room for a very fancy hotel. Okay. Oh, I bet these go over here. Yep. Scissors. You're hiding scissors. Wait, what is this? Oh, that's the gunpowder. I must not have picked it up. When am I going to blow up? Oh no, there's the evil person again. Oh no. The electrical cord for the washing machine was sewn into the mannequin. Okay. Alright, so I have to set this to 60. And this thing has to be... And this one, and this one. Yay! Shouldn't that have turned it on? Yeah, th it, this... How is this the 60s? Oh boy, this looks like fun. All right. Um, I need all kinds. I need a wrench and a brush. There's the brush. And a bell. And tape. And whatever that is. Keys? Nope. And, oh, there's the bell. And a hanger. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh. I need more clothespins. I know, I was trying to put it on there. And let's see, what else? Whatever that is. Oh, that's the other half of a scissor. Where's the first half? There it is. The scissors are broken. Oh, I guess I need a nut or something. Uh, let's see. A uh, bottle of poison. A scrubby sponge, which is definitely a modern thing. Well, that particular one. That is definitely a modern blow dryer. And I mean, the last game we played was definitely not in the 60s. So that's weird, too. Yeah, the horse-drawn carriage. Yeah, it was like, those games were set in definitely ye olden Victorian steampunk times. That's not the keys, huh? What is that last thing? Oh, gloves. Okay. Enter the code from the paper. Okay. Five, three, eight, four, six, one. Aha! Another film reel! Food is cooking! Yay! Actually, let's just warp there because it's all the way on the other side of the house. Wait, I clicked the wrong place. Wait, oh, ha <laughs> ha I knew that. All right, let's see what it's on this tape. Veronica Redmond, a greedy governess who sacrificed her young charge for money. Veronica cared for a young orphan until she conspired with his uncle to kill him and split his inheritance. She sabotaged his boat to look like an accident, 
and the boy drowned in the sea. But offering you a job here was no accident, Veronica. I sentenced you to die by drowning. That house was a McMansion. Let's see if we have a picture of it in here. Do we? All right, well, look at this house. This is like a brand new house, like 2000s at the latest, maybe 90s if we push it back, not 60s. All right, let's see, we have a code and that is for there, which is, what do we need code for this? Square. Oh, we're doing this again. Okay, so the first one's a triangle. The second one's a square. Third circle, fourth diamond, and fifth is a hexagon. Yep. She dead. How is there still steaming water if she's a skeleton? Also, yuck. I don't want to touch that water. It's got a dead person in it. This safe is still intact. Maybe Veronica left something important inside. It's possible for my Veronica. A key. Is the key to the safe? Nope. It's an owl. Oh, there's a thing for the safe. Lilith Blackthorn told me her husband Ezreal is too busy to meet me, but didn't he invite me here? I don't like her. That's real nice. All right, what did she sew into the pillow? Extremely obviously. Depressant? I could use this to make an explosive? This game really does not understand how any of this works. All right. Veronica Redmond, an ambitious young woman with a shady past who came to the hotel seeking employment as head maid. My diary, Veronica Redmond. Ray may have used me just to get his inheritance, but my love for him was true. I still wear his bracelet every day. That was a necklace. There wasn't enough evidence to convict me along with Ray, but I have this feeling that someone knows the truth. I'd take it all back if I could, if only I could. I can't believe it. A man named Ezreal Blackthorn offered me a job at his hotel as head maid. It seems too good to be true. But perhaps my luck has finally changed. I should have never come here. I keep hearing these voices. They know. I can't stand it. Is this my punishment? Yes. A wick. That's not how those work. It is a terrible bomb. Are we supposed to blow this up? Oh good, okay. Laundry room. Uh, where are we supposed to be? Oh, what's this? Oh, right. Oh, we have to blow this door up. I was close. I mean, okay. So if you're gonna do this, right? You don't put it inside a glass bottle. You just put the gunpowder there and you have the wick and you light it and the gunpowder blows up. This way, not only is the gunpowder blowing up, but you have glass shooting everywhere. It's a terrible plan. Also, I don't think that little gunpowder would make that big an explosion, but I'm not an explosion zone. Detective. Your case ends here. Just in time. She's down for the moment. 
Is that James? James needs medical attention. Although she's knocked out, I'd feel safer if she was handcuffed. Chief Inspector Casey O'Connor. If only I had scissors. It's covered in a thick layer of ice. I guess I have to heat the water up. You'll all die. Room 23, do not disturb. What is that? There was a grindstone just, like, stuck to the door? Well, I think she's unconscious, but either way... Why is there ice on this? And pouring water on an electric lock is not going to help the situation. Why was there... Why do I keep asking why is a better question. I should just stop. Uncover the pairs. Uh, this is a boring game. A cassette tape and tape tape. Casey O'Connor, the Holy Mountain Hotel, wants to interview you for a security guard position. E.B. Okay. Magnifying glass and a photo. A button and a cassette. A tape. And was that the tape? Yep, tape. Flashlight and a magnifying glass. Nope, that was the button. Where's the magnifying glass? There it is. A photo and a photo. What else moves here? A button and a button. Uh, what's left? Oh, the flashlight. Where is the other flashlight? Oh, there we go. Fedora! We haven't had one of them in a while, actually. Oh, I need this can cups. Gotcha. So the old lady must be old dude's wife. Okay, thank goodness she's unconscious at the moment. Okay, can I now... James needs medical attention. You want to give me more hint than that? Lilith Blackthorn. Yeah, I'm right. Ezreal Blackthorn Thorn's devoted wife. She refuses to accept his death and is continuing his legacy. Ah. So it oops, I clicked on the wrong thing. So he's not still alive. That's lame. Alright, I need a code for that. I'm just gonna leave James hanging here in the hallway. Will it help if you have your hat back? No? All right, let's see. Red. Oh, no, reset. Red, purple, green, orange, blue, blue. Thank you. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there's a TV that looks like an old TV. Oh, what's that? Something gleaming inside, but I can't get my fingers through. What about that? Or that? No, huh? What's this? Drawer pull. Okay. I just need to cut through the glass. Or break it! Like, I'm sure any of these things here would break it. Aha! Another film reel! It's locked. Duh. It's wrapped in wire. Those, well, okay, those pliers technically have cutters, but they didn't use the right part of the cutter to cut with. Am I going to go watch a movie while James needs, like, medical attention? Yep, I am. There we go. Stop. Yep, let's watch a movie instead of helping James. Casey O'Connor, a police inspector corrupted by power and greed. After rising to inspector, he started taking bribes. He put many innocent people in prison, raking in money from the local crime bosses. 
You thought you destroyed all the evidence against you, but your weak-minded superstitions will be your undoing. I sentence you to death by fright. Yeah. Oh, look, a tweezer. Prosecution lacked key evidence to convict O'Connor. Yeah, I mean, if this was happening in the 60s when these movies are, then, and the lady's old now, I mean, it might be like, I don't know. It would be modern times, I guess. So weird. <gasps> Was that a real ghost? Did we finally have a real ghost? Ezreal's spirit haunts this hotel. Is he influencing these events? Wow, that'd be the first real ghost we've had. Also, if this is taking place in, like, super ye or, like, not ye olden times, but, like, in the 60s, why did James get invited? Also, what else am I supposed to be doing here? Alright. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing there. Okay, I know where that goes. Ye olden modern times, yeah. Oh, I guess I am still supposed to be in here. What else am I supposed to do in here? Uh-huh. Oh. Never would have guessed that. Alright, let's open the thing in the dude's room and see what he has in his safe. A clock. That is a really cool clock. Arrange all of the numbers so they create a standard clock face. Press the center green arrows to swap the numbers in the hand the hands are pointing to and press the outer arrows to rotate the ring of numbers. Okay. Wait. So the hour hand and minute hand don't actually do anything. Uh, this looks like it'll take forever. Um. Yeah, you know what? No. A first aid kit. I need bandages and a tourniquet to help James. Tourniquets are a really bad idea unless, like, someone's actually going to lose an arm. Like, that used to be, like, a go-to thing, but they kind of say don't do that as much anymore. It hurts. <laughs> the wound is infected. I've got to bandage it soon. I just bandaged it! It hurts. You want your hat back? Oh my gosh, we gave him his hat back. <laughs> what would I do without you? Thank you. Get a haircut. Why is your shirt ripped? Should I cut it open with something? I can't keep up with you. I'll stay here and watch over her. Check my hideout. I left clues for you there, in case I... didn't make it. Okay... That's not it, huh? What is this for? Padlock key. Where was the padlock? The padlock was in here. This is the end, James. Something, something, something. Death is coming. This must be where the opening took place. <laughs> James, what year is it? <gasps> Detective James. James has a darker past than anyone suspected. Connected to a case where he helped condemn an innocent man! <gasps> Glass cutter. What 
whatever that is. And it looks like two parts are missing here. Can I just, oh, can I just take the piece from the bottom and put it up there? Stupid game. You need a light bulb and I don't know what else. Could I saw through it? I mean, you could just break the glass, too. <laughs> I don't think they're going to let us kill him. He still has a terrible haircut, regardless of what time period we're in. Isaac Rottenberg, Tony Northen, Northen Gordon Marshall, Veronica Redmond, Casey O'Connor, James B. something or other. It's too hot to take. Turn it off. And then come back later. That was a really easy lock. Also, that J is backwards. Or the one on my ring is backwards. He is real. He is real. Veronica Redmond, Gordon Marshall, Tony Northen, Isaac Rottenberg, Casey O'Connor. What is this crazy business? There's the locket. Someone held her down underwater. Did someone force him to play Russian roulette? Oh, that's possible. Oh, okay. I was confused for a moment. All right, let's see. Handcuffs. It's an alarm clock. A square, even though it's a triangle. A metal. Let's see. Oh, that's a cool bird. <laughs> um, stethoscope. Who's that? And where do I put it? Shush you. That's a pin. Oh, that's a cassette tape. So this must be part of that. Okay. Let's see. There's a comb. And a piece of paper. Oh, postcard. James, there's a case waiting for you at the Holy Mountain Hotel, EB. Aha. How? Why, why are those postcards here? James, if I'm too late to help you too, I'll never forgive myself. What, why are the postcards that they got sent at the hotel? Did they bring them with them and then the lady just steal them back? It's a little weird. There's a truck. Where's, oh, that's an apple. Okay, and that's a guard for or the door for the thing. And then a pair of glasses, which I'm positive I saw twice. There it is. And that's the record button. The record button is red, not the play button. The play button could be green, but the record button is red. All right, let's see what this says. See, that's the record button. That should be red. This should be green. Those can be whatever color you want them to. Inspector O'Connor. I admit it. I love sending people to the slammer. Feelings intoxicating. And the extra spending cash doesn't hurt. <laughs> I got this acceptance letter for a security job at that Holy Mountain Hotel place up north. I don't remember putting it in my resume, but the pay looks great. And this hotel is a death trap. I found two bodies, and I think I'm next. I put a call out to James, the best detective on our force. If he can't help, I found another body, and I keep hearing voices. Am I going crazy? Or maybe a ghost killed these people. This place feels cursed. Okay, these people have been dead for a long time. I'm going to assume this guy has also been dead for a long time. Which means he called James, but then James got a postcard. But then if these people have been here for a long time, then James has been here for a long time. Or this person just died and James didn't get here in time. And not all of that makes sense to me, even though I just said it. All right, we still need that light bulb. What is this? Oops. <laughs> um. Was that 
important or just silly business? I guess that's not important. What's over here? Oh, I need a saw for that. Right. Um, my current task is here. Where am I? Oh. Oh, that's supposed to go there. Oh, okay. I took care of that wretched cop. Now that detective is the last one. Ma ha ha ha. Also, that detective's accent was terrible. Medallion part and an oven mitt. Okay. Why do we need either of those things? Oh, I still need to be here. Oh, for the light bulb. I knew that. I don't understand that animation, but that's fine. Inspector O'Connor. I managed to dig up some information on the victims I found here, but they're not connected. What are they all doing here? This hotel's been abandoned for years. I'm starting to have second thoughts on this hotel. There's something about it that doesn't add up, but I can't resist his offer. I could retire rich off pay like that. I don't like the looks of this place. It's deserted, but I saw someone watching me in the window. I drove all the way out here. I ought to see it through. I found names for these victims. Isaac Rotenberg, Tony Norton, Veronica Redmond, Gordon Marshall, all reported missing. How did they end up here? Okay, so maybe he did end up here very recently. Another body, and it's fresh. A few days at most. The windows are locked now. I should have left when I had the chance. This place you could break through a wall and it probably wouldn't be hard. And none of those bodies were fresh. Not even one of them. She's too dangerous to leave alone. I'll watch her. Yeah, I agree with that. Crazy lady with a shotgun. All right. Guess what? He has also been dead a really long time. Casey O'Connor, a power-hungry police inspector who imprisoned innocent people for extra pay under the table. <sighs> the voices are real. The Holy Mountain is death itself. Make them stop. I can't take it anymore. Okay, well, um, so, the cop that is dead who called James to come investigate because they worked on the same police force is a skeleton. So either he called James super long time ago or he turned into a skeleton in like a week. That's pretty much what I got out of this. It's missing a button. And he's got a rope around his neck, but he's on the floor, so I'm not entirely sure how he died. He also said that one of the bodies was fresh, which isn't true. None of the bodies were fresh, so why is it always piranhas? I just need to knock it free. Well, I mean, I could throw anything in this room. Hey! This must be our final boss room, I assume. All right, stop. Huh, now what? Oh, file through that. Just break the glass. That is a compound crossbow. A very janky looking compound crossbow. Oh, look, it's EBs. 
I could repair the crossbow. You probably couldn't. And a chisel. Do I need anything else in here? Nope, I don't think so. Um, I wonder what I'm going to use the chisel for. On this. I mean, I could just cut that. I had something to cut things with. Huh. I mean, I assume the arrow goes with this, but I don't have any string. And I don't see any string in here. What am I missing? I need to shoot that with the crossbow, which is dumb. I could just get a chair from another room. I need something to open that. He did. Just go through that wall. Looks like somebody tried to just go through that wall. Alright, what's going on here? Oh! It's stuck in the wood. Is that fishing line? I don't think you can use fishing line as bowstring. It would just snap. It wouldn't be able to hold the tension. <sighs> Luckily, it didn't land inside the fish tank. Bad guys always have piranhas. Just in case you didn't know that. I don't know. Like, I... What on earth is this? Move the golden scales to the courthouse. Circle on... Oh, to the courthouse circle on the right. The scales move when they are surrounded by golden shields. Move the shields into position around the scales by rotating the circles. Select which circle you want to rotate, then press the arrows to rotate the symbol on them. Do not let the scales touch the red swords or you will have to start over. Okay. Slightly confusing, but... Oh. I didn't tell you to move. I think I already messed it up. What are you guys talking about down there? What on earth are you going on about? Where could I get a bag? I don't know. It'd be great for keeping candy from the kids. Just turn your house into the Resident Evil mansion? No. Like having a giant eyeball on your arm or being made of fungus. The arm eyeball is at least a talking point. <sighs> Guys are weird, you know that, right? No! I did not say to do that! No! You jerk. Yeah, skip that. Uh-oh. Who are you? Wait, is that James? That looks like James. Where'd he go? This is not the product of a sane mind. Lilith has gone over the edge. Despicable. Only a madman could create such a vile altar. We mustn't give up. The key to this mystery must be close at hand. I thought you were watching the chick with the shotgun. I mean, it's not really that bad. It's just got an angel with no head. And there's a clock with no face. Yes, we could definitely call the cops now. You're next. There's the clock face. Guilty. I'll kill them for you, my love. Guilty. Justice shall be done. Eliminate them all. Guilty. I need to cut it. Why? It's tape. Just pull it off the wall. Alright, let's put the clock face on the clock. 
Aha! A photo, glasses, and three feathers. There's a feather. And a mousy. We don't need a mousy. Timepiece. Two timepieces. Oh, yarn tape, two timepieces, a brooch, a locket, a picture, a note, and a bird. There's part of a bird. That's a cuckoo bird, apparently. Tape. Watch. Oh, uh, what else am I looking for? I already forgot. There's a brooch, another timepiece. Oh, feathers I need. Feather. A locket. Photo, glasses, feather. Photo. That's kind of creepy. Glasses. Feather. Yarn. I think that's string. A close. A uh, picture and a note. My dearest Israel, once your burden is lifted, we can finally start a family. Do you think it will be a boy or a girl? Oh, that's creepy. Right. This is fine. This is fine. All right, get to go back and watch another movie. Is it James going to watch the movie with us? And last but not least, the righteous detective James. The public has nothing but praises for him, but he's not as sinless as you may think. Some years ago, he served on the jury of a certain trial. His silver tongue swayed his fellow jurors to the wrong verdict, condemning an innocent man. Unable to cope, the man chose suicide over a lifetime in prison. You claim to be so righteous, but yet you brought this man's soul to ruin. For that, I sentence you to die a slow and painful death. Oh no! Yes, that's creepy, thought punk. You're correct, though. Young detective, modest detective, becomes successful, national hero? Countercharge, young detective is accused of perjury. Avoided trial, famous detective found innocent in perjury case. James, how dare you? We must confront him now. There must be a logical explanation to this madness. We just have to keep searching for clues. Am I just supposed to kill him? Hmm. Quite a place, isn't it? Let's look around. Aren't you supposed to be watching the crazy lady? Wait, what am I even going to do with this? A green splinter. She's still there? Okay, at least she's still there. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm going to attack that? Alright. Oh. Is the head of the angel. Okay. What do we have to do here? Insert three red pieces in the left slot and three green ones in the right. Use the bridges between the pieces to move them. However, hover over a piece to move it along the bridges and select a bridge to turn it. Okay, so... How does that only go up and down? It has to go over here. Oh, that's dumb. Well, that's very complicated, isn't it? Okay, um... Oh, okay, here we go. That way. We go that way. Okay, that way. We go over here. We go over here. I don't even want to design anything to stop me. Just to sort stuff. Okay, I need to be one. That's right. Yes! 
Just checking. You said you would be streaming. I am streaming. What thing? Oh, 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 uh, we had a change of plans. I know, I know, but she's busy tonight, so I can't go out tonight, so instead I'm streaming. I apologize. Not my fault, though. No, I'm not going to get you Wendy's. I'm streaming. Where's Dad? Well, no. You go tell Dad you want Wendy's. Close my door. Close the door. That took much longer than it needed to. I need something from Lilith? And that one goes there. Today is truly the happiest day of my life. Just like I dreamed it would be. Our wedding is just the start of our new life. I hardly ever see him anymore. When he is home, he is distant. Israel, let me lighten your burden. I can't bear to see you like this. It's Israel, not Israel. Another anniversary spent alone in this empty hotel. Israel. Why don't you let me help you? Then at least we'd be together. I discovered Israel's list. The ones who are burdening him. At last, I know what I must do. Justice will be served. I believe I've uncovered Lilith's tragic tale. Lilith had always admired Israel. So when he retired from his position and married her, she was so happy. Together they opened the Holy Mountain Hotel and at first, it was a great success. Lilith dreamed of starting a family with Israel here. However, Israel clung to his past, unable to let go of the villains he believed had escaped justice. He was often absent, leaving Lilith to manage everything herself. But she never blamed him. One day, these burdens proved too much for his heart, and he died. But Lilith could not accept this bitter truth, driving herself to insanity. When she discovered his plans for revenge, she vowed to make them a reality, believing that this would restore their marriage and bring her the family life she yearned for. Even though he was dead. What do you want now? Well, then you can't have it. I'm not buying anything right now. I'm streaming. Goodbye. Who's there? Noble. Noble who? There's no bell, that's why I knocked. Ha 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 ha. You're a goofball. All right. What's this? Let me see here. How tragic. It wasn't Ezreal's ghost after all, but his wife Lilith. It's all over now though. Lilith won't hurt anyone ever again. You think you've beaten me, ha? You're both fools. The end is at hand. Let your sins be cleansed by my righteous flames. <laughs> Did you just call him a useless twink? <laughs> Okay. Just a little piece of wood will do. What? Okay, I got string. There's a grappling hook up there for some reason. It's too tight to unscrew with my hands. There's lots Stay of fire. Prayers, detective. We need a special tool to cut through these. James can light it for me. I could. You can light it yourself. The wood is right there. Or the fire, rather. Why couldn't I do that? Now I have a burning. 
Oh my gosh. This is an interesting way to end the game. I will give it that, but James is not being helpful and pretending he's being helpful is not helping the situation. All right, so now we have rope. We need the grappling hook. All right, we got a wrench to take the thing off that for some reason, I guess goes over here. Um, we've got to clear out this fire or we'll never make it to the window. Okay, where does... That doesn't go there? Alright. Can I... No, I can't pick that up. Can I use that to get that? No. Um... Huh. I need a special tool to cut through these. We've got to fill the bucket, but we need a valve. We don't have a bucket. I have a valve. Why couldn't I do that? Here. <sighs> Fire department. It's locked, of course. Why would you lock fire equipment? Yeah, I, I gotta figure that's the only thing. Like, they're just doing this so it seems like James is a part of the game. Which, I mean, he is, but he's certainly not being helpful. Alright, what was that? Cutters. Can I use this? There we go. How's he gonna climb down with a broken arm? I think I need to think more strategically. Wait, weren't we gonna climb down? We could jump. Oh, we're gonna use the grappling hook. Will this help? How did you climb up with a broken arm? Oh, and I need the carabiner. Give me that. There happens to be a hook right above there. What? What's the carabiner for then? There is no escape. Your end is at hand. Lilith, you can still turn back. You don't have to die here. There is no turning back. Justice shall be served. <laughs> Why did they put the carabiner on the end? can't escape her own verdict. This is her death sentence. I was certain that place would become my grave. I can't thank you enough for all you've done. Oh, that's a cool backdrop. Well, there we go. That was uh, Haunted Hotel 7 Death Sentence. I know in the title of this uh, stream it says death sentences but for some reason twitch won't let me say death sentence it's against their rules so i had to put an s on the end or it wouldn't let me tell you what game it was even though the game is spelled correctly in the uh title of the game so uh that was uh <laughs> oh my gosh i i actually really do like how they did the thing at the end where you had to find stuff and then use it to escape. That was pretty cool. However, James did not need to be helping. And I could have done that all by myself. I know you're mad James wasn't dead. I apologize uh, for him not being dead. I told you he wouldn't be. He, he's the love interest. You can't kill off the love interest. It's illegal. But yeah, so that was game seven. This is really pretty. I realize that. He's not your type. He looked slightly less disheveled in this one. 
<laughs> I like how in this whole game, he had one job. All he had to do was watch the crazy shotgun lady. And he didn't. And she set the building on fire. Like, why? I like how the words are flying away in the clouds. It's pretty cool. Bye, words. See you later. All gone. Congratulations, you've completed the main game. Woohoo, go us. Let me see. Okay, so there is a bonus chapter and some other stuff. We're not going to do that right now, though. Let's quit because this is kind of loud. Wait, what? Wait, what? It did not. Hang on, I'll open it back up. You're right! Wait, do you want to look at this now? Alright, let's see what the alternate ending is. Aw, we must have to play the bonus chapter first. I wonder if he dies in that one. Would you be happy? <laughs> it's not nice, you know. Next time, Gadget. <laughs> Alright. Well, we'll have to see you next time. Sorry. Okay, so I guess we get to see the bonus episode and then an alternate ending. Won't that be interesting? None of them have had alternate endings thus far. No, it really doesn't. They just kind of glossed over that, didn't they? Like, oh, well, I guess, uh, yeah, he did something bad, but... They also said in one of the articles that he was accused of perjury. So not only was he, like, on a jury and he, like, had the wrong idea and convinced everyone he was right, but he might have lied about something in court. That's bad. Don't do that at home, kids. Or at court. Especially don't do that in court. Because, generally speaking, it will just end poorly for you. Where am I going? Oh, I was gonna look up what the next one was. The next one is Haunted Hotel 8 Eternity. And... I don't see James in the thumbnail. So maybe this is the last one with James and he does die. Or they got tired of him being in the game and wanted to do something else. It actually kind of looks like it's modern-ish. So I, I'm wondering if they finally decided that they were tired of not understanding what time period they were in. Yeah, no, I don't see him in any of the thumbnails when you look up the game title. No more James. This must will be the last one. That's not necessarily a good thing, keep in mind. Also, I was I was editing Wikipedia, because apparently that's the thing I do. And I added in all of the games by the Haunted Hotel Company. That's not what they're called. They are uh, elephant games. And um, because apparently on YouTube, if you want your game listed by the title in the game section, they dredge Wikipedia for game titles. So I thought that that might help because a lot of times they're not there. They're also not on Twitch. I added them to Twitch too. And while I was doing that, I noticed that this series, while it does go really high up in number, like up to 19 or 20, I know I might be the only person playing these games. Shush. You're watching, so how much how much better is that? <laughs> um, so at any rate, it looks like there's a lot of standalone games that are just that just randomly take place dirt at haunted hotels or so called haunted hotels. We really have not seen Shushu any ghosts yet. I mean, there was technically a ghost that we saw in this, but we didn't really see it. It wasn't really in, like, doing anything if it was there at all. 
the ghosts of the monsters in the bonus content from fourth or fifth game are the closest that we've gotten to ghosts. And that wasn't that was just bonus content and they were ghosts of monsters. So I'm not entirely sure that even counts. So that's that's that. And maybe no more James after this. We will shed a tear for him. Also, we have to finish up the Mr. Case Files number one. Yes, these games are very silly. Huntsville. Huntsville is Mr. Case Files number one. We've got one more playthrough of that, and then we'll be done with that one. At any rate, I guess we'll be done for right now. I'm Fate Touched, and I will see you all later. Bye!